Hey there, everybody. Welcome on back to Binding of Isaac, modded Eden Streaks. We're playing as Eden. We're creating such a very log backlog uh, for this series. We're starting with Dr. Fetus. This is like actually a horrible item because we lag ever so slightly. 3VKZ, 41F4. That's what you get uh, when you let your heart win. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, oh. Nah, but that's what you get when you're playing with mods. Uh, an item like this is horrible for us. One, because I don't like Dr. Fetus, but there's like a half a millisecond of lag that you get uh, when using bombs with this uh, mod pack here. So it's a little bit frustrating. Uh, it's obviously something that we will be able to handle. Uh, and really the run should be relatively easy uh, regardless here. If Isaac does not have any red hearts, gives two red hearts. If he has less than six, give one. If he has six or more, gives a black heart. Okay, so just take it and we'll get a HP up. Yeah, okay. It works for me. Why not? We have a really large backlog for this series right now, guys. Uh, which is basically, at this point, I didn't even see that guy there. Uh, at this point, essentially, I know what's going on in this series before you guys can even think about what episode it is. That's how ahead I am uh, for recording for this stupid series, uh, which is good and bad. It means that, you know, either I'm hiding something from you or we've been fairly successful. You know, if you're seeing this video and I haven't put some kind of, uh, okay, that's the sponge. That's fine. It's a pretty good item, actually. We've had this before. Uh, if you're watching this video and I haven't put some kind of uh, cryptographic tweet on Twitter that's like, I hate my life and everything it entails, then either like we haven't lost a streak or I just decided uh, I can hate my life on its own. That's not what I needed. I really, really, really would like uh, to actually... Mm, I would have also really, really liked for that to be a Yara in that room. Uh, I really want to get Sackhead or Starter Deck. Because both of them are really good. But I've kind of been of the opinion uh, over the past couple of days that I'll just record a lot of Isaac. And that way I always have an Isaac available. Okay, that that's a good little, good little battery charge right there. He will be quite useful for us. As will this... Uh, I mean, Empress is not really all that fantastic, to be fair. Damage is the one thing I'm not concerned about on this run. I, honestly, I'm not really concerned about anything on this run. Wow, what a lucky crawl space. I will not complain. And Shard of Glass is... I mean, it's not horrible, to be fair. One makes you small. Shard of Glass. Telepills. Which brought me back here. I don't really want to be there right now, though. We will end up taking the battery charge. Uh, and we might as well do it right now. There's really nowhere else that we can go on this floor. We're really hoping... Uh, we have a 1 out of 4 chance. 1 out of 5 chance to get... Uh, well, 2 out of... 2 out of 5 chance to get the item we need. You gave me a red heart. Wow. Okay. We're going to hope and pray that the... Uh, the sack in our room over here has uh, a battery charge in it. Because I'm going to be really disappointed if we don't walk out of here with either Sackhead or the other thing. It's another Telepills. It's also a Lovers. We don't care about the Lovers. I can't get the Sack. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the way. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I hate it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. This is disappointing. Uh, we are going to go to... Ah-ha-ha-ha-ha. Uh, going to go to our Super Seeker room, which is... the Tinted Rock down there, though. Uh, we're gonna go to our super secret room, which will hopefully contain, I don't even know what I want from it, but it'll hopefully contain something. Small rock is great, by the way. Uh, super secret room, right here. Okay. My B, I suppose. That means it's all the way back here. We're spending a lot of time on the first floor, but honestly, I'm not at all mad. As long as we get some kind of benefit, uh, out of the floor all that really matters where in the hell is the super secret room dude it's getting ridiculous it's got to be up here to the right of this room what an awkward place for a super secret room dude battery charge no 
It's okay, though. We, we have a red heart run, which is not something that I normally ever want. Uh, but that's okay. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, there's not really a whole lot else we can even do on this floor. It's a bit disappointing. It's actually really disappointing. I, I can't get a key anywhere. There's an item in here. That item is uh, Monstro's Tooth that we started with. I mean, we get a nickel. I suppose I can just bomb poops until we get money we need. I, I honestly, I don't think it's worth it. I think we just go and live a happy life here. I'll blow up these. Try to get a little extra money. It's a spider. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think it's time to go. A little bit of a disappointing first floor, if I'm being honest with you. Uh, even getting two extra items in Small Rock and Shard of Glass, it's still kind of sucky that we don't get uh, what are arguably two of the best uh, shop items in the game. I don't think that's a controversial opinion. I mean, they're both really good, Starter Deck and Sackhead. But that's okay. Uh... A little bit of a different thing for me right now. It's really early in the morning. And by really early, I mean it's like noon. But I never record at noon. This is this is a wacky... It's also a Sunday. I never record on Sundays. It's the D1 freaking 100. I'm going to be honest with you. Absolutely. I think this is one of those situations where popping the D100. Uh, totally acceptable. And I think that realistically, I'm going to take Libra as well. Uh, and this is probably going to be the run that we stick with because it's very simple. It's a simple run. It's a good run. It's nothing too, too fancy. I know many of you don't like the D100. So, you know, if I don't need to pop it to survive, I think I'm just going to roll with this run. I mean, it's pretty good. Squeezy for a tears up. A uh, little brimstone. We got some sad bombs, which are obviously uh, some quite powerful bombs doing a little bit of damage to our enemies a good devil deal here and we're sitting pretty for the rest of the run so we'll see what happens duct tape is interesting it keeps a little brim at a certain angle i'm not positive that's even good i think i'd rather have ace of spades uh yeah i mean it's really good i think you take all of them uh i think you do that and do that it still didn't really help <laughs> Because your boy is potato uh, at the Binding of Isaac and forgets basic rules of the game. Okay, super secret room. Right here, right here. I mean, that might have gotten it, but I have a feeling it probably wouldn't have. We got 12 bombs. We might as well uh, take the time to do this. Give me la super secret room. It's probably going to be right here, actually. Yes, okay. You contain red hearts. I don't care. We've killed our HP with that devil deal, but we've also improved our run like almost tenfold with that devil deal. Um, yeah, you know what? That's not a bad thing for us. And now I'm actually relatively tempted to take duct tape here. We're gonna at least see how it how it works with this. And those guys have uh, things between them, so taking uh, electrical cord here was pretty good actually i could be relatively content with that uh pickup let's just go uh we're, we're gonna take duct tape and see i mean look it's okay it's nothing to write home about i think you just take ace of spades and you go you know ace of spades is still a good trinket uh a couple extra cards popping out of the middle of nowhere I'm content with it. Judgment. Oh, I like you, but you're going to go. And you're going to give me in return the Empress. I think the moon is just more important for us. And the moon is a is a teleportation out of boss rush. Am I going to make it to boss rush? Almost definitely not. Because we spent eight minutes on the first two floors of the game. But it was worth it. I mean, we have a run now that is stable. Uh, it's ready to go ready to leave it's ready to be it's ready to go i honestly like as much as i would love to pop the d100 because i'm going to be straight up with you uh i'm a big d100 fan you know there was a time in afterbirth where the d100 and d4 showed up like every single run 
Uh, and that got a little bit old because you like to work a run from the uh, bottom up. But in Afterbirth Plus, it doesn't happen as often. So when I get the D100, D4, I'm like, yeah, let's do some wacky stuff and try to create uh, a super fun run built from scratch, kind of. But I understand you guys are not big on the whole D100 front. And frankly, this run is, holy crap, this run is insanely good as is. So I think it's in our best interest. I mean, what do you do here? I, I think there's something to be said for taking Satanic Bible. There's something to be said for taking Lil Delirious. I also think there's something to be said for not taking any of them. And, and I'm going to be honest with you. I think this is the decision I'm going to make. Uh, unless we get a little bit of extra HP on this floor and I can feel good about taking those. It's kind of not worth it. You know, none of those are game-changing things. I mean, unless we're not keeping the D100. And then Satanic Bible is in fact very good for us. And a battery charge on the floor even makes it more viable. Yeah, you know what? Mom's perfume is fantastic. You know, it gave us actually a significant damage upgrade because of Libra. It is a tier to lay down. Uh, so, I suppose that that stat decided to work with <laughs> Libra. I, I don't really understand why. A tier to lay down is not necessarily a tier upgrade. Look, man, I, I'm not going to try and understand it. I'm just going to roll with it. I'm going to take Spider Mod. Spider Mod is one of those items. It's just nice to have. It's not really anything too, too, in, like, valuable or important. But it gets the job done. And I can accept it. Take the devil. I'm really happy with this run. I, I, I Like I said, as much as I love uh, popping the D100... If I can create a high rate of fire, Papula Duplex, uh, plus a bunch of other random tier effects run, probably going to take it. I mean, it's just a good thing to have. I also think that you take Ansus for the next floor, just to make our lives a little easier. Uh, and then you go back, and I think it's officially time to say, D100, you've done a great uh, thing for us. But I think Satanic Bible is going to be the way to go on this one. Uh, just to get ourselves that nest egg of HP. And then, just because I'm feeling lucky uh, and we have the HP, I'm going to take Guppy's Paw and uh, get ourselves on the Guppy train. Obviously, we don't need Flight, but we have the ability to do some, uh, some major damage if we can get two more Guppy items. We have Infinite Devil Deals for the rest of the run. Uh, which is insanely good. We're going to get five more devil deals on this run. So the chances of us getting Guppy uh, is probably relatively high, to be fair. So we're just going to head on down. Uh, it's a beautiful Sunday for me right now. I hope you guys are having a good day. It's not necessarily beautiful outside. Uh, it's actually, like, going to snow today, apparently. Even though it's going to be 70 tomorrow, uh, it's going to snow today. So... Basically, the weather man in Little Inferno is just losing his uh, losing his cool right now because it is about to be cold as hell today. Uh, and what am I gonna do? I'm putting a crock pot of beef stew on. I'd like it if you popped up, my friend. I'm putting a crock pot of beef stew on. I'm gonna turn on Game Seven of the Cavaliers versus the Indiana Pacers so I can be incredibly disappointed when the Cleveland Cavaliers lose. Uh, and then I'm going to stream some Spelunky, and it's going to be a fantastic day. For you guys, when this video is coming out, it's like six days in the future or something like that. Uh, so you are going to probably be laughing at me when the Cavaliers lose. Uh, you will probably have watched the Spelunky stream, and you're going to be laughing at me during that. Uh, really, as a whole, everybody's just going to laugh at me, but I'm used to it. So no worries. I will take the whiz. Why not? Uh, it, it's not necessarily good. In certain circumstances, I tend to like the item just because it can be a little bit wacky and create some fun synergies, but I will not deny it, it is not necessarily a good item, but every item has the ability to not be good and every item has the ability to be good. You know, if we get ourselves a, yeah, you get, you got to try right now. Also, you have to not go there yet because we're going to be able to go there soon you know now there's no reason for us to 
attempt to kill ourselves because I have no idea what our HP is at. There's no reason for us to attempt to kill ourselves on a devil deal when you know you're going to be literally in the exact same devil deal in, you know, two minutes or so. I'm hoping less than two minutes, but that's okay. You know, and that gives us plenty of time to charge up our satanic Bible. You know, we know we have at least two hearts right now. And I know it's more than that, but you got to go on the safer side here. You know you have at least two hearts right now. When we get a Satanic Bible charge, we're going to have three hearts. And then one more heart, and that allows us to take a deal. Which would be fine. Why am I taking High Priestess? It's basically a boss kill. Uh, speeds up our run a little bit, you know. Okay. Beautiful. Fantastic. There's our Satanic Bible charge. If there is a battery charge in the shop, it's an auto buy. If there's a Spirit Heart in the shop, it's an auto buy. If there's a Spirit Heart chilling in here, it's an auto uh, take, but sadly, no. Stars card. It's the teleport out of boss rush that I would like, but I, I still don't really think we're making it to boss rush. So I, I, I do think that the best thing to do, just get this boss dead uh, ASAP. It could be someone like Little Horn that would be a pain in the ass to kill. So you might as well roll with uh, roll with the punches, roll with the changes. Roll in with the changes. Ba -da -ba -ba -da okay, take that and take it to that. And really the habit is a winning item <laughs> now that I'm looking at the situation. Especially on these early floors. Enemy hits us, we get a full black card in return for it. This just intrigues me is not really as good as I maybe expected it to be, but it did intrigue me. But we're getting mad spirit hearts from this. And by mad, I mean we got one, we got two. That's enough to take a couple items from this devil deal, though, and that's what's important. So, wait a second here, and I literally mistimed that to hell. That was horrible, uh, all things considered. Rest in pieces. Mom's coin purse. Tears down, I see. Gulp just gulped our trinket. Okay, you know what? Uh, gulp this, then, as well. It's pretty good. Pop this, something's wrong. Now you take Missing Page 2, then you take Dark Matter. Our tears look dope. Uh, that is one positive right now. You blow up this guy. I do genuinely think that uh, the habit is just totally worth it here. Being able to get ourselves uh, HP every time we get hit. It's too good to not pass up, you know? And since we used our card, I'm going to go back and grab the stars. Boss Rush is looking like a damn near impossibility. I want to point that out here. So we might just use the stars card on the next floor. To go a little bit quicker. But we'll see what happens. Uh, head on down. Keep in mind that we got a Libra. So every time we get a uh, upgrade of any kind. is being split. It's an XL floor. Okay. It's the boss fight. <laughs> uh, a little bit unexpected. I have to say. Uh, but we will make it to boss rush. That's for damn certain. Get ourselves a hopefully Tech Zero dude. If Tech Zero is sitting in there. I feel like God. Uh, it, it's just a fantastic synergy for uh, the Wiz, which is why I would like it. It's fun, it's fancy, it's sexy, it's uh, voluptuous. What other synonyms do I have for it's hot? I don't know. HP is also totally fine here. Get wrecked, Mama. Should be an easy mom fight, especially with our little fly orbital friends. Really good item, these flies. Uh, I, I would take them borderline every time if given the opportunity. They just deal so much damage. Uh, they're always worth it, in my opinion. Take the Polaroid. Devil Deal contains crap, to be honest with you, so I don't need it. Get your Tinted Rock. Two bombs back. I mean, it's not really something to write home about, but that's okay. Chocolate Milk is just really good. Uh, it did kill our everything but it's going to make our run better so i'm not mad about it we also can spam out like incredibly powerful shots so 
We're going to roll with it. Okay. That's pretty good right now. This is pretty damn good right now. We're going to go to the curse room. We have HP for it, and frankly, we just kind of got in for free. The gods just pop. Alges. Honestly, we can tank a little bit here just to make sure we can get the hell out. So, we know... We know we have another item room on this floor. Because it's an XL floor. We know we have a shop that is not necessarily valuable to us in the absolute slightest. Like, we have zero money right now. So a shop is borderline just there for us to go in and be like, Hello, awesome. There's an item I can't afford. Move on with your life. Although we're getting money now. I would still like to find it. I feel like it's always important to at least, like, check out your shop. Even if you can't afford it, you can always uh, just full on do what you can to get the money on the floor. That was just the worst thing I've ever done. Uh, Bricano. Not super useful, but we can take this. And we can take this. Habit's doing great for us, but obviously we're just getting battery charges uh, out of nowhere. So I don't really have many complaints. You know, besides the fact that maybe we wasted a little bit of money. But we've been donating uh, a lot recently in the episode. So I don't feel bad about using our donation machine. That's why it's there, to be fair. Uh, rhyming like a pear in a fair. Mini mush. It's actually very good. It's an all stat upgrade. Uh, and increases our speed ever so slightly, which is kind of low right now. I would like our speed to get a little bit higher on this one. But any stat upgrade is a friend of mine. Because we just gonna get uh, we're just gonna get damage out of it, essentially. Our damage is not good on this run, although it is seeming to be the case. Uh, if we happen to just get a couple of good items here and there, we're going to be insanely powerful, uh, is all I have to say. You know, we get some kind of massive massive uh, stat upgrade type item or trinket at this point. You know, give me tapeworm for that massive range up. Did we pick up? Why are we getting so many runes? We don't have rune bag. It's a little bit odd, to be honest with you, but I will accept it. Also, so many battery charges. This run is borderline set. I mean, taking a uh, Satanic Bible ended up being probably the best decision we could have made because the game decided that today uh, it was going to give us as many battery charges as humanly possible, which I'm not mad about, but... uh. Still a little bit odd as a whole, but this run, uh, whole run here is shaping up to basically look like a win. So, I mean, sit back, relax, grab your snacks, and have a good time with this one. Because it should be over relatively soon, and then you can go watch whatever video is going to upload on the channel next, which beats the hell out of me. I don't, I don't schedule that far in advance, I just record that far in advance. What do you think? Shop right here? What do you think? Shop right in the next one? I still would like to go to it. I mean, seven cents is enough to buy a discounted item. Did this wrap all the way around up here? It didn't. No, it didn't. Okay. I was going to say, that's ridiculous. We keep algas uh, in case of an emergency. What is that emergency, you ask? Honestly, I don't even know. Basically, we could go do Hush uh, and basically do it without dying or losing HP. Plus, we have enough HP that we could lose a ton of HP and still be okay. But I don't necessarily think... Uh, one, I don't necessarily think we're going to make it to Hush. But two, I don't necessarily think we need to do Hush. Okay, I don't care enough to find our shop when we don't have the money to do it. We're just going to go. Uh, we're going to enjoy the fact that this run has been incredibly powerful uh you know what sure give me the necronomicon give me a chance at bookworm here and then i'm just gonna go we're gonna pop uh pop satanic bible get ourselves into basically full black heart territory you might as well right when we have an item that gives us uh hp in the form of spirit heart potential and uh, it's like potential energy, except it's the potential for us to not completely throw away our run. It's the run potential. It's the run potential ener energy. RPK. 
is going to be the uh, subscript for it. PRK, I suppose, since P is potential. Ooh, Tyler studied physics. The uh, one half MV squared equals MGH. Kinetic to potential energy. It's almost as if I'm a physicist. Mm, atoms and molecules. Particles flying through space. Alright. Uh, find the boss fight ASAP. The womb sucks. Always. We are going to go to the uh, cursed room. I'm still uh, dreaming the guppy dream. I dream the guppy dream on high. Da -da 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 -da. Not a Les Mis fan, honestly. I've seen it once, the movie. I haven't seen the play. My mom saw the play and she said it was the worst experience of her life because the entire thing's in French and it was boring as hell. And like, that's a little bit short-sighted, to be fair. I feel like that's not a way to go into a play. It's the art of the play that you need to uh, experience. But as a whole, I just don't care for Les Mis. The music is subpar for me, at least. You know, I enjoy... I, look, I enjoy me a good musical. I, I did theater for six years of my life. Granted, I never was actually singing. I was always backstage, but uh, I love me theater. I'll talk about theater with anybody. I have favorite shows. Uh, I have... I did not want to pop that, but sure, thank you. Appreciate it. My finger slipped. Big fat old fingers I have. My fingers ain't that fat, but I have to blame it on something, so we're going to blame it on that. Have a bomb. We have so many bombs and haven't used them uh, basically at all to deal any combat. So I might as well. Even on rooms where we die, we're still just getting spirit hearts from the rooms, which is stupid. Stop giving me HP. I'm supposed to be playing this game on hard mode. You're making it seem like you know, preschoolers binding of Isaac. I'm still like waiting for Guppy uh, the head variety or Cricket the head variety to pop out of a damn chest. But apparently that's too much to ask for. Here, this is the chest right here. Guppy. Not Guppy, it's pills. I will pop them even though it's detrimentally horrible to do so. I'm excited. Yeah, this is really bad right now. I'm getting cocky. Uh, I, the man just shot at me without being up. I want a refund, to be honest with you. We're getting a little bit cocky. Uh, and rightfully so, because we're playing really well. I mean, not even we're playing well. The run is playing well. But we can't get cocky. We know what happens to people to get cocky. They get Saki, the Italian, not Italian, not even close to being Italian, the Japanese wine. Slash, it's not really wine. It's more like straight liquor, dude. Rice wine. I suppose it is wine, but it's okay. Saki is. Not the situation. The situation is not good. I would like to be back to full HP uh, starting approximately now, but that's fine. Pheromones. Okay, here's our boss fight. I'm looking for, like, massive stat upgrade plus amazing devil deal. Can you make that happen? Also, screw the bloat. Bloat's just one of those enemies, dude. It will never not be bad. You know, slash R slash F the bloat. I'm with you. Good night, my sweet prince. Stat upgrades. Yes, that's a stat upgrade. Thank you. That's a good stat upgrade as well. And then in here, yeah, this item's really good. It's like insanely good. This one scares me because it gives us like triple damage sometimes. We're going to take all of them because I'm not a scrub who's afraid of life. In before dead, but I'm pretty confident in our abilities. Cricket's head. Rune bag is also like really good though. We also just got some really strange stat upgrades out of the middle of nowhere. Uh, and a luck upgrade. Run's getting a little bit laggy because uh, red matter is basically the item of lag. But I'm a fan. I mean, it's insanely powerful, so we can't really hate on it. I can't believe I just missed him. Okay. Good night, my sweet prince. Get me out of here. Yara, the gaz. Do we have a curse? Curse of the wine. Yeah, get rid of it. Zero reason to do that. And we'll just slowly but surely make our way through the womb. Uh, Hush is still a possibility. And frankly, it's probably going to be an easy as hell fight. 
So we might just want to do it. But then again, the double damage thing, it's really, really bad. Uh, and I, I don't necessarily want to lose the run by getting cocky on a hush fight. I mean, that just seems like the worst possible thing that could ever happen to me. Like, this right here is also just a detrimentally horrible room for me because I feel obligated to do it. And I know full well that it's just going to result in my sadness. Although that is not sadness at all. That is what you call happiness. Exemplified. Okay, we need to not do this anymore. Okay. Cool. Justice for Barb. Justice for Barb. Pheromones. Gulp, sure. No reason not to. Throw down a bomb there. Beautiful. Throw down a bomb here. Beautiful. Take mom's bottle of pills. Get the mom transformation. Another gulp. Gulp ain't what I'm looking for right now, though. I'm looking for HP. That's why we're keeping Satanic Bobble. If we get an Aldra's Rune, I might go back and play that guy. I mean, another syringe gives us spun, so it's it's worth it to do so. There's a Tinted Rock in that room. Black Rune's also dope, though. Black Rune's actually incredibly dope for that room as a whole. Because, yeah, I know there's a Tinted Rock there. Uh, Black Rune is great for that room because we can get stat upgrades from Mom's Bottle of Pills plus whatever other item drops from that guy. Also, if this is a reroll room, I'm going to do it. And we'll just make this the reroll run. Okay. Please, reroll me. You didn't, but that's okay. Not guppy, so I don't care. Chest that literally popped out nothing. Makes me happy. One uh, black rune, still want to take. One makes you small. We're very tiny. We a small boy right now. One small, tiny boyo. That is okay. I'm allowed to be a tiny boyo. Plus, it'll make us uh, sneak through spikes better, even though we can fly. So that point goes right out the goddamn window. But we'll continue to be happy. Blank rune. There's a chance, dude. And I'm going to take the time to do this, even if we don't make it to hush, which I don't want to do anyway. Uh, there, there's a reason that we should go back and try this. We got a one out of six chance, I think, for this to be... Uh, Alges. So I will take my chances. And then, of course, we're going to have to go all the way back uh, to get the black rune when we get an item out of this. Show me the money. That's not the money at all, actually. It's also a great way for me to accidentally go down that. And boy, do we not want to go down that. That ruins our uh, run. Unless we find a self-sacrifice room but that is just a horrible idea why are there so many of these guys stop i don't want to be a part of this okay continue down frankly at this point i i don't really think we're gonna go back to ever play that guy even if we do get a uh an alge's rune it's intelligent too because spun is so possibly an option but it also is, uh, is there a reason to? You know, why would we risk losing more HP? Uh, the, we're not losing. It's really just losing time. I'm trying to justify being a lazy bum. Which is never a good thing. Don't justify that. Continue on through to the other side. Uh, looking like algae's ain't popping out. So it's a bit of a moot point to begin with. It's a bit of a moo point where all the cows come out to play. Full mapping of the floor. I mean, realistically, I would love to have that for... I mean, realistically, I would love to just have Black Rune to go down to the hush fight. I would love to have Ansu's for the cathedral, but... Am I really going to do the damn hush fight? It's such a bad idea. Although we have money, we have... Well, we don't have a lot of keys. I don't know, dude. Maybe I'll do Hush. Let's see what the Devil Deal does first for me. Wow. Uh, okay. You gotta take Incubus. I'll do Hush. I'm not a little baby. 
I understand that we can get hit and die really easily here. Like, insanely easily here. But that's okay. Serpent's Kiss basically takes all my concern and throws it out the window, so that's good. Uh, frankly, don't want either of them. Thank you for the damage upgrades. Let's go for a crawl space. And then we will spend some time in our shop doing shop-related things. I have a dream. Okay. I can open one of these. It's able. <laughs> don't don't really want able, to be honest with you. A little bit pissed there's not a uh, tinted rock in here. But that's okay. You're telling me no crawl space, huh? That's okay. That's okay. Uh, come in here. Also, no, uh, no possible crawl space. So, luck changes randomly from 0 to 10. Luck decreases accuracy. Honestly, we're not accurate to begin with, so it works for me. Pop this. We should take the telepills. And you're probably like, Tyler, why would you do that? Uh, essentially, it's a backup plan in case we're about to die. We just pop telepills and go. Uh, we'll take Abel. There's no reason not to. And then we'll go. I would have loved to have some keys here, but there's not much we can do. Uh, we'll fight Hush. We're playing, praying for red matter shots uh, as much as humanly possible. It's difficult to see what's going on on the screen. Plus, we're lagging like a little bit here. It's going to be a bit of an odd, long fight. Um, could, uh, could it end the streak? Yeah. Am I pretty confident in my ability to beat Hush? Yeah. I mean, we've done it a million times at this point. We just have to actually uh, put in the damage. When we're hitting our shots, uh, we're doing great. It's just getting the shots in while dodging shots that I can barely see. That's the problem. Plus, we're a very small boy. So, seeing myself is relatively difficult. Uh, Red Matter does stupid amounts of damage to old Hushy. Like, very, very stupid amounts of damage. Would you please make my frame rate not 4? I gotta figure this out, dude. We didn't have this kind of lag uh, on the series for, like, the entire first season. And now, all of a sudden, we've got a uh, lag in the series. I will get it figured out. Uh... It's got to just be a mod that's acting a little bit funky. I don't think I installed anything different, though. So I got no idea. Uh, we'll, we'll figure it out, though. Not concerned. Keep on trying to get some red matter shots in. I mean, obviously, it would be really nice if we could just have an Alger's rune and sit on him with uh, our mom's knife back thing. It also, I'm, I'm patiently awaiting him to spawn the flies. So that Serpent's Kiss can go buck wild and give us enough black hearts for me to feel like we won't actually bite the dust on this run. But just be happy. Yeah, here we go. This is the good stuff right here. Kill all of them. God, the frame rate, dude. I understand how frustrating this is for you guys as well, so. I do deeply apologize. I just don't quite understand why it's doing it. Two black cards, it's okay. It's pretty okay. Uh, I suppose bombs are also uh, relatively powerful here. Ow. As all the shots hit him. So he's about halfway done. Sadly, the second half of the fight is the hardest part of the fight. So, we're going to be a bit, uh, a bit in hell. These bombs actually, like, chunk off a decent bit of his HP. So I'm just going to keep on doing this for a little bit. Okay, sit in there with the knife. This is fine. Uh, Cold Blood Death Machine does the triple damage to us. We're going to start to feel that soon. We've used all of our bombs. That's okay. We're looking for black hearts from these fools. I see one. I just got hit uh, for a decent amount. Don't worry about it. We got 
three black hearts that came out of that scenario. Just pour in the damage. We're so close to finishing the fight. Uh, we, we get the Eden's Blessing for the next run, which I mean the last time we got Eden's Blessing it totally screwed us. But it's generally pretty good to have it. Uh, plus it's a tears up, which is going to be an all stats up. There's not a lot of complaints I have about that. Uh, there is a lot of complaints I have about these spirals of light death. Because they suck, is my point. And if these guys want to drop black hearts for me, honestly wouldn't mind. I see one, two, no, just one. Okay, Hush, you're almost dead. We do have this on lock. Zero way we lose the fight. Uh, heading up to the cathedral with a real solid run and basically an 100% chance of victory. I don't want to be that guy that says 100%, but it's an 100% chance of victory. Uh, if we survive the Hush fight, we basically can survive anything else they throw at us. So this is good. Got a plus 0.5 damage upgrade from that as well. Am I going to go to this uh, this challenge room for the hell of it? Yeah, because we have a telepills. So there's really no reason not to. We can just get the hell out of it. Uh, and maybe even teleport closer to the boss fight. Our luck is very high right now because of alcohol. Our accuracy goes down, but frankly, I'm not overly concerned about that. This is the dream. Not the dream. Unless it was... Nope, it wasn't. Okay, so... We got infinite keys for the floor, which is okay, I suppose. What are you? Ansu's. Pop it, and then teleport, please. We're all the way down here. It's actually closer to the boss fight, so I'm content. And there's Serpent's Kiss, just basically ensuring that we can't lose. Between that and Satanic Bible, uh, we are set up for only success. Wow, that hurt, though. That's cold blood killing machine doing bad things to us. I still don't really quite understand the benefit of that item. I think it's a damage up, but I still take it every time, even though I just generally think that it probably is detrimentally ruining our runs. But still, I'm not overly concerned. I mean, this it's an easy run uh, that is manifesting itself as one of the best whiz runs I've ever had. Why are we fighting greed like eight times on this floor? I don't really need steam sail. The sun. Uh, it's mapping on the next floor unless you're a Yara rune. It's an AWAS. Don't care. We have not gotten a single Yara rune uh, on this run despite having rune bag. Which is a little bit disappointing to be fair. Uh, I also just potatoed away our chance of going to the super secret room because we have sad bombs. And I basically completely potato forgot it. Drop a bomb, please. Hey, you did. You sweet prince. Okay. Put that there. Give me, I don't even know what, pills? A telepills? A gulp? We've gotten like 65 gulps on this run, too. This is going to be weird. All right. I think sun is the best for us. And then we go. Uh, it should, ah, that hurt. It should be an easy Isaac fight as long as we like actually just sit here and deal damage to him. He's very dead. Rest in pepperonis to Isaac. Uh, not fighting Mega Satan because we didn't pick up the key pieces. I'm just rolling through the mental checklist in my brain of all the possible things I need to do on the chest. It's really just open up your four items. Hope that they... Okay, would you please stop taking so much damage? Uh, open up your four... No, I could have gone with Perthrow and I would have been happier. But oh, full mapping is okay. Give me God items. God items. Key bomb, not God, not God, not God. Literally all of these are bad. Uh, not a single one of those is good. So my new goal is try to get a Perthrow rune on this floor. Now we've got rune bag paying out, so chances of getting it are decently high at least. I also wouldn't mind a Yara. You know, our luck is, you know, it fluctuates, but occasionally it's like 12. So getting chest payouts is not necessarily out of the question. HP is back up as well. Uh, really, the only way that we have taken damage on this run was from our own stupidity. Like that right there. Why would I just stand there? Because I'm a moron, that's why. I'm a moron. Down, 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 down. I take it easy. Down, 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 down. These guys just don't even want to attack me. They're afraid. They live in fear. They were petrified. 
Because I fear shotted them in the face and then they went to die. But then I looked into the mirror, I saw a little Gertie Jr. and I said, Oh, I really said they won't survive. They won't survive. Okay. Random rune effect. Okay, it's time for uh It's time for the hope and pray that this is going to be uh the item we want. Also, thank you for your time, Mr. Troll Bomb. Troll Bomb. <laughs> you can basically put anything to that song. Okay. We're looking for Perthro. And not Perthro was the Dig Gaz. Which is still okay, to be fair. A little bit of extra HP. Never hurt nobody. Literally, like, it can't hurt you. We've been compromised. Starship Eden's going down. It's going down. It's yelling timber. Da -na -na -na. Ba -da -na -na -na. It's one I never thought that I would cover in a Isaac video here. Do you open the chest or do you pray for a Yara? Um, I'm going to pray for a Yara right now. Why not? Might as well. You know you get runes on the regular. We can get ourselves an extra item here. This is a run that is, is very confusing because realistically our damage is not that good. It's just the fact that I'm getting Carpal Tunnel by spamming that we're so successful. Could be Perthrow. Alges. I pop this. is the uh, Ankh. The Ankh. The Ankh is not really all that useful. After this room though, we're guaranteed victory. Not that we weren't before, but uh, we pop Alges on the final boss and that leads us to victory. Hello, my friend. Hope you're ready to die. I'll go back and open that chest. Who knows? It could be Tech X to finish the run. Or it's going to be like Brother Bobby. Uh, 10 bombs. I, I don't even need to pick it up, to be fair. Let's just go fight the boss, get this run over with. Going on to a 7 streak. Uh, this was one of the easiest runs we've had in a long time. I mean, I played it very well uh, as well, but just an easy ass run. Uh,. Obviously, the D100 would have made it probably even easier than what we made it, uh, but really just an easy-ass run. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, remember to uh, smack that like button. Come back tomorrow for some more modded, item, modded Isaac Eden streaks. I'm going to stop saying modded Eden one of these days, but not today. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.